Hi, I'm Nathan with Holston Gases. Today I want to talk to you about selecting the correct size welding cable for your welding application. I want to talk about why it's important and how do you determine the correct size. So the why is rather simple. Basically if our welding cable isn't large enough, we won't be able to get the desired welding current or voltage to the welding arc. This can create some weld discontinuities such as excessive spatter or maybe even a lack of fusion defects. So we want to be sure to size the welding cable large enough to be able to handle the welding current or voltages that we'll be using. And so without getting into a bunch of engineering jargon and talking about Ohm's law, fortunately most welding machine manufacturers and welding handbooks provide charts kind of like this right here that will help us navigate selecting the correct size cable. So looking at this chart we can see that there's two things that we need to know. We need to know the total welding circuit length and we need to know the welding current. Okay so first of all the welding circuit length is the combined length of both leads. The work lead and the electrode lead. So if we have a 50 foot lead going to the stinger and we have a 50 foot lead going to the work clamp, that's a combined cable circuit of 100 feet. So looking at the chart, we have 100 feet and let's say we're welding at 300 amps. We can look and cross the two and see that we need a welding cable size of 1 aught and that'll be sufficient to provide the welding voltage and current that we need with minimal voltage drops. So now let's say that you've got to get 200 feet away from the welding power source. You have a 100 foot work connection and now you have a 100 foot electrode connection. So now we've got to double our length. And so if we look at our chart again using the same amperage, 300 amps, with 200 feet of cable, now we're required to use a 3 aught weld cable. Now that's a much larger weld cable and that's going to cost a lot more than a 1 aught cable. So it's important to know when you need what and to know your application so you don't spend too much more money than, you, than, than is necessary. But you certainly don't want to uh, cut any corners by using the smaller cable when, you're, you, when you really need the larger cable to get the job done because your welding quality will suffer. So one last scenario to talk about is what if you're welding in a shop environment and you're not using extraordinarily long lengths of welding cable. Well that's good, you don't need to buy as much welding cable. But you don't know which welding amperage you'll be using most of the time. So in that scenario, I would recommend that you size the welding cable to the rated output of the power source. So if your power source is rated for say 300 amps at 100% duty cycle, then you'll want to use the uh, 100 foot or less and 300 amps and now your welding cable will be sized for whatever might come through the shop uh, that your welding machine is capable of doing. So those are just a few tips on sizing welding cable and I hope that you have found this video helpful and if you have any questions don't hesitate to call your local Holstein Gases distributor. Thank you very much for watching.